Consider next John Hancock. After serving as president of Congress during the Revolution, he was elected governor of Massachusetts where he issued several proclamations calling the state to prayer and thanksgiving. This particular proclamation is from October the 15th, 1791. And pray especially that universal happiness can be established in the world and that all may bow to the scepter of our Lord Jesus Christ and that the whole earth may be filled with his glory. John Hancock also issued several other similar proclamations, equally evangelical in nature, but all fully reflective of his own Christian beliefs. This signer is Samuel Adams. Because of his leadership in events like the Boston Tea Party and organizations like the Sons of Liberty, he's been titled the Father of the American Revolution. After achieving victory in the American Revolution, Samuel Adams remained active in political affairs. For example, following the Constitutional Convention, Samuel Adams was one of the individuals responsible for the movement that led to the drafting and the adoption of the Bill of Rights, and he later became the Lieutenant Governor of Massachusetts and then as Governor. Now, as Governor, he issued the 1795 Proclamation for Prayer, Fasting, and Thanksgiving. Notice the strong evangelical language he uses throughout. That the peaceful and glorious reign of our divine Redeemer may be known and enjoyed throughout the whole family of mankind. This prayer request was often repeated by Adams, as, for example, in his 1797 proclamation, speedily bringing on that holy and happy period when the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ may be everywhere established, and all the people willingly bow to the scepter of him who is the Prince of Peace. Samuel Adams was a strong and outspoken Christian, a fact revealed in his private writings and confirmed by the official public records. He was such an important leader that he, too, has been honored with an individual statue here at the Capitol, located in East Central Hall. Such proclamations acknowledging God and calling on him for aid, like these we've already seen from Jonathan Trumbull, John Hancock, and Samuel Adams, were frequent from our founders, not only in their individual state leadership roles, but also in their collective national leadership roles. For example, during the American Revolution, our founders and the Continental Congress issued no less than 15 national prayer proclamations. Those 15 proclamations, each written by different committees of Congress composed of different founding fathers, were all characterized by strong religious biblical language. But why should this be surprising? After all, in the Declaration of Independence, our founders had announced to the world that they were proceeding, quote, with a firm reliance on divine providence, and their numerous prayer proclamations prove that they meant exactly what they said.